Today we're gonna to be making chucker and waffles. This works really good with any kind of upland game bird, so if you hunt pheasant, grouse, quail, whatever you've got where you're at, works really good. There's one. I'm just gonna get into it. I've got boneless chucker breasts, uh, and then I'm just using pickle juice to brine these ones today. I'm just gonna let it sit in the fridge for about an hour or so. Just putting the flour in a bowl, and this is what we're gonna bread the chucker with. The amount on this doesn't really matter. However much you've got works because, you know, if you've got more birds, you can put more in there, just enough to where you aren't gonna run out. I mix in my seasoning. This is my own seasoning blend. It's my Sierra Sage seasoning. If you wanted to match this and don't have the Sierra Sage, you can go with a little bit of sage, um, some red pepper flakes, a little bit of rosemary and thyme dried. And honestly, the measurements, just kind of like whatever's a good looking consistency, maybe a tablespoon to two cups of flour would be a good measurement for that. I just did regular waffle mix that got out of a bag, makes it easy. And then I like to add in a little bit of extra herbs to it. So rosemary is one that really has a really good flavor, goes well with the savory bird take a few sprigs of this and then some thyme and some a little bit of fresh sage and I just mix that straight into the waffle mix. I've got the checker now it's been brining for about a half hour and I'm gonna just start I'm gonna dredge it straight from the brine. I'm gonna go into the flour, into the milk, into the flour and then just on a onto this grate to keep it kind of all together. We're just gonna make our waffles real quick. I've got the batter. I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter in the waffle iron and then throw our waffle on here and then fry our, fry our birds and top it. We're gonna wanna get this oil about 350 degrees. I'm not even necessarily deep frying it in this, just um, I'll, I'll flip it over. So I've just got a little bit of oil in there, maybe two cups of oil. You can see when it gets kind of like a shimmer in the oil, you'll know that it's ready to go. The oil looks pretty good. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a tester, see if it starts to oh. It's good. A little bit of bubble test. Once I know that that's frying pretty good, I'm just gonna start dropping the chucker in there. It's not gonna take long. We just want it to be low enough temperature where it cooks it and doesn't just burn the outside. So, gauge that, get that chucker in there. As I pull these out, I'm just gonna put them on a paper towel with a plate just to let the excess oil drain off. These are looking good. Some of these out. Oh, look at that. That looks good. That is gonna be awesome. This is it. Now it's just time to top our waffle. I'm gonna go with a little bit of pure maple syrup. Top it with a little bit of a rosemary garnish. All right, just gonna dig in here. Oh, perfect, crispy waffle. Perfectly cooked chucker. 